Hi, I'm Catherine, and this is my husband, Matt. This is Matt. So, today we are doing the Husband Does My Makeup Challenge. I don't know that he's super excited about this, no. but most of them are vegan if something that he uses is not vegan because I had it before, a product that I had before we went vegan. Um, I will list it down below if it is not vegan. I will also try to list everything that we are using that he does decide to use down below. I have like a whole tray in front of us right here. Yeah. <laughs> are you nervous? A little bit. I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah. She seems to think that I do and I don't. I think he has a, a little bit of... <laughs> I talk to him a lot about makeup products, especially since we went vegan. I feel like I'm constantly talking about like cruelty-free vegan versions, trying to find like cheaper products. So at least I think he knows what to do with them. I just think the technique is not going to be there at all. Sorry, babe. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'm really good at pretending <laughs> to listen, that is. Yeah, so I have nothing on my face right now. This is completely... Do you moisturize? No. Oh, <laughs> see, it's downhill me. now. <laughs> yeah, I don't need, it's not even moisturized. Not even ready to go. I don't know where to start. Um, I mean, there's a couple different places you could start. Oh, uh, foundation, <laughs> obviously. Why don't you figure out what kind of look you're going to go with first? Do you want to do a daytime? Do you want to do nighttime? Well, since it's nighttime... Daytime... <laughs> skin concealer. Are you using a lot of this? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't put it on the back of your hand, you have makeup wipes, you have. <laughs> that is not foundation. What the hell is that? <laughs> For those of you who can't see, it came out clear. So. <laughs> There's like goo on my hand. Can't even see it. Not where the foundation. Yeah. Please say how to use them on the back. <laughs> I don't really do that, no. This is not the right color. I mean, yeah, my skin got a little lighter, but I haven't purchased a new one yet. Well, don't you have to conceal things before you buy them? <laughs> you want to tell them what product this is? This is... <laughs> <laughs> I almost said shark tape tape. <laughs> Tart shape type by... Light medium. <laughs> okay, from this moment on, you can't look at the screen. Okay, I'm gonna try to look at the screen. I remember you put this on all the areas that look bad. Makeup done by a professional. It's <laughs> <laughs> not, not to say that I don't have complete confidence in you, but you know. I mean, obviously you do. I'm guessing I can blend with this. Mm -hmm. I think you can. Do you know what brand this is by? This is Elf by mm -hmm. Elf. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little wet, and then we take it. No smiling! <laughs> you know how hard it is to get in the creases when you smile? I bet! <laughs> 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 Stop making me laugh then. Gotta be real gentle with this and, and make sure that it gets blended. And then what you do is then you go on with your <laughs> foundation. This is Wet and wild, I think I showed this one already, but this is in the color of bronze beige. Definitely too dark, I just haven't purchased a new one for the fall. What you gotta do is get a fair amount on there so you can blend it out. And then you take it and you do everything. <laughs> Not the eyes, there's a different one for the eyes. Okay, so you go like this, go like this, go like this, okay. Really gotta get it all, get it all over the place. This is really the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't make it splotchy, you know. 
and make sure everything's even. It's really fun to just go like this. <laughs> We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> You're gonna take me on a date after this? No! <laughs> you're not leaving the house after this! Okay. I'm gonna put some of this. I don't really know where it is. Medium. Medium beige Amazonian clay. It's gonna help fill in the spots that I missed. We have the big brush. Okay. You just. Uh... Hold! Oh! <laughs> Those of you that didn't see, it literally just went. See, you see what we got? You see what we're working with here? It's like a little mesh inside the thingy, and then you gotta dip the brush without. You see all? The... I think a swirling is an option, but it's fine. Slowly now, because it's. Knock out the extra. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to use this either. <laughs> you really don't have much on there, just enough to. <laughs> it's all the way there. Using a, a dotting, swishing motion to, I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna go back to the shape tape. All right, we're gonna clean up some areas. Very carefully, because I already put stuff on. But for those with, those with eyeballs, <laughs> okay, you gotta make sure you to actually get product on there. Gotta fill in some of the eyeball areas. And I heard something about this like T-zone stuff. I don't know what it is, but I've heard the term before. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna go back on the nose. We're gonna conceal the nose. Hiding the nose is the best. Do you have any appreciation for makeup artists out there? Nope. Easy. You do this all day. <sighs> okay. Back to the egg. I'm gonna take that concealer and really get it into all those uh, areas without going into the eyeball. Get real close. Blend it out. It's easier said than done. <laughs> I can only use my right hand because my left hand's up. That clumping. Okay. My right hand doesn't, or left hand doesn't work very well. And we want things to be nice and even. Gonna get it into the eyeball socket and underneath the eyeball. You. <laughs> You're about even one, I guess. Yeah, you <laughs> It has like four different sizes of this. Three different. One of them gets like that big. Would have been better. If you haven't used it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take this concealer to shape. <laughs> concealer. <laughs> and really hide the nose. Okay? You really just. You gotta. I know I said it before, but you really don't underestimate the hiding. Make sure the nose disappears. Blending well. We're gonna have to go back over with powder though. And really cake it on. So the cake look is a good look? No. But I've already made the mistake, so we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> Setting powder. I got a sudden mistake. Another tart product called uh, Filtered Light Setting Powder. Currently her favorite. I'm gonna use it. That just smells like vanilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, this is a very technical motion here, right? You use that to just, just to get some of that setting powder in there and like set the mistake. Get it good. We're gonna use this powder stuff <coughs> to blend over here. <laughs> Feel free to go down the neck. Turn for me. Thank you. Oh yeah, that side's all kinds of off. <laughs> so the, the foundation is done. We've got a solid foundation. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna start on the eyes. Urban Decay. <laughs> Urban Decay. This is an eye potion primer. 
what we do with this, is we prime the eyeballs. Okay, it doesn't have to be a perfect there because we're gonna blend it with some sort of brush, I imagine. <laughs> Coming in, other eye. Getting close. <laughs> okay, we got a uh, Bare Essentials Old. brush I've had that for like 10 with hairs falling out of it. Most of these brushes I've had for a very, very, very long time. Okay, so we're coming back in because I'm not using my fingers. And we just want to take all of that primer and... What is wrong with that stuff? You let it sit for too long and now it's set. I didn't know it did that! <laughs> <laughs> okay, note to self, one eye at a time on the primer. Well, what it does is it makes your eyelid tacky so it can take the... Shadow. Eye shadows and stuff. And makes your eyelid not as oily so they don't fall off. Well, she wouldn't want your eyelids to fall off. <laughs> this one also smells like vanilla. The whole tray does. Look at all those colors. Okay, this is for pros, and I am not, so. <laughs> <clears throat> what you gotta do is find a small brush, and I think this is gonna work. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta go and find the color that you want. We're gonna start with something vintage looking, very light and put a little bit on there because the shit look came off. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay. We're gonna start in the corner. We're just gonna work our way up the brow here. This is the base color for the whole eye. I'm gonna say is that why it's only white in the eyebrow? Yeah. Less is more in this case, okay? You can always add more. Harder to take it away. There's some giant creases here because I... <laughs> if you creased it too much because you put primer on and let it sit there for forever, <laughs> you're kind of screwed. So I'm going back for the other eye. I need my hand. Focus. Start in the crease, corner of the eyeball here. Okay. Bring it up. Under the brow. Put some more on because you didn't put enough. There's a thing here called fallout. Not the game, but powder. <laughs> it's gonna happen. You gotta darken that up a little. You want kind of a natural look, so if you see in here, these colors, I'm gonna stay in this range to keep it kind of warm and nice. A lot of blending and makeup, you know. You don't want straight edges. It's not like your coloring. I'm gonna blend the two colors together and kind of take the darker color up a little bit, but not the whole way. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're gonna finish the eyes up. Right? We're gonna line them, which she's gonna love. And we gotta do the eyelashes. We might darken the brows a little bit. So, what you do is you have them close your eyes. You have them open their eyes? <laughs> Luke just looked down. Oh yeah. This is really scary right now. Nice and easy, but we're gonna fiddle with it a little bit here. Oh yeah, that is it. Easy and good. Sometimes it takes a couple rounds because you're just kinda... I'm just gonna forget about that because she's not being very cooperative. <laughs> it's really scary. Heart thirsty. I don't know. If I'm, oh, it's red. <laughs> this might not be eyeliner. That's lip liner. <laughs> she put that one in the wrong spot to fool me. <laughs> We're gonna decide to go with cobalt blue, pixie, endless eye, or endless silky eye pen. What you do is you, you put this right along the lash line, right in here. I don't know if you do it from the top or from the bottom. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, just, just <laughs> screw everything up. <laughs> Have a makeup wipe on hand, cause you're gonna mess it up. Smudge it in a little bit so it's less noticeable. <laughs> I imagine this is a lot easier on like a mannequin that doesn't move. <laughs> so we're gonna go back and uh, put it on the top. I don't know how anyone does this. Eyelashes are in the way. How's it look? Don't ask them, they don't want to know. 
That is fantastic. I don't like it, I'm not gonna lie. When she does it, it's a lot more subtle. I don't think she does the whole eye. Okay, so in terms of making it even, we're gonna go to the other side. We should have stayed away from the eyeliner. <laughs> Oh yeah, I went the wrong way with that cat <laughs> eye. <laughs> Back to work. We're gonna take it up a little bit. We're doing like a cat eye now. Out of nowhere. That is fantastic. We're gonna keep the two different eyes. Whoa. You guys can tell me which one you like better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little scared to see this later. This is 100% pure mascara oil, mascara, lengthening and separating. Colored from black tea leaves. Maracuja oil. Not mascara oil, mascara. Okay, so we're putting some mascara on there. It's getting a little clumpy. I'm gonna come back with our favorite mascara brushy outy thingy. Very carefully work the mascara back out if possible. We're gonna just tap on those little ones on the bottom, make them show up. Then we're gonna erase the mascara that we put underneath. Perfect. Okay, let's go to the other eye. This is not gonna end well. <laughs> I don't see you Technical all. Technical terms. All I see is this mascara wand coming out of nowhere and some fingers. From the top, that looks awesome. Let's see what it looks like from here. Ooh, very nice. All right, so that down. Now we're gonna go back to the face. Gotta bronze the face a little bit, give her some color. <laughs> Eco tools, look at that. That's pretty. What we're gonna do with this bronzer, less is more. Anywhere that the light hits, we want to bronze. Maybe this is where the T zone comes in. T? No? <laughs> where you draw a T? Now we get the blush. Pink stuff to go with the blue. Okay, this is when you turn into a fish. <laughs> go fish on me. Fish! <laughs> All right, and then you just kinda, you, you get the cheek. This is to fill in the eyebrows, make them look full and voluptuous. And you want to use like a, like a sweeping motion, you know? Oh yeah, see? Can I turn the other way? See? Oh, oh, we can do lips. So this is the final look, give or take. You know, I think it's pretty, pretty decent. Okay, here we are. She's about to get her first look at her beautiful I'm so makeover. Scared. Ready? No. Go. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. You'll love it. There's nothing not to like. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you do to the eyes? Eyes are hard. Okay. Look at that, I, like, this one right here? Like, what is going on? I mean, that's just... <laughs> I couldn't do it, the pencil was so fat, I couldn't get a tight line. Comment down below what you think of this look. So what do you think? Scale of one to ten. Scale of one to ten. For what? For Overall how? Overall quality? I'll yeah. give you, I'll give you, like, a eight or a seven. Seven, eight. Not bad. Mm -hmm. How do you think you did? It's my first time doing makeup. You know, honestly, if I could erase that eyeliner, <laughs> I think you could wear it out. Yeah. Even with the blush. Is it, is it just me, or does it seem like the blush isn't wrong? All in all, I think I would give myself an 11 out of 10. I'd minus one for the eyes. So 10 out of 10? Yeah. 
All right, so let us know how we did. Yeah, comment down below what you think. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>